This is the Truma Combi E water heater. On the front of the panel, the front section, you can be leave it off. You might be able to do it by hand, or you may need to borrow a screwdriver to get it off. Underneath that, there's a series of wires, and in between the brown one and the blue one at the right hand end you can see a green flashing light which may be flashing orange and what you need to do is to push that brown button between them and keep it pushed for 10 seconds or so and what will then happen is that the light will start to flash orange indicating that it's resetting so let's try and do that in a way that you can see Now keep it pressed for a good 10 seconds or so. First the light stops flashing. Keep it pressed. And you get an orange light indicating that it's resetting. And then a green flashing light. Now you can let go. Continuous green flashing light indicates that it's now been reset. If that reset process doesn't work and you don't get a green flashing light, the heating still isn't working, then you might have triggered the uh, heating over protect, which is this button here. And you want to get something like an Allen key like this or even a Cook's match and push it into this hole here and push gently and you'll feel just a gentle click. It's quite subtle. Then let go again and that will reset the overheat protection. You then need to go and repeat that process using by pushing in the uh, the brown button there for 10 or 12 seconds till you get a flashing orange and then hopefully you'll return to a flashing green uh, as we've got here. Now go back to your heating control panel and turn the heating on. So about 10 or 15 seconds after we turn the heating on back at the boiler a couple of clicks there as it sparks up and then you'll hear a bit of a fan noise and then after another 10 or 15 seconds it should fire up into action and what you'll then see is not just a green light but also an orange and a red light and that will indicate that it's working properly hear it firing up and you'll hear it through the vent in the side of the van as well. There we are. Green, amber and red all working and you should have no error codes on the control panel now.